Hi friends, it's Sarah from rufflesandrainboots.com and today, easy quick craft here, we're going to make a gnome jar wrap from a pre-made placemat. Let's pretend I boop the nose. If you'd like to make it, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here. Now I made this while on a mom vacation. I'm using jars, Velcro, that sticky back, a glue gun, faux fur, something for a nose, and some jars. I got these two on vacation as well at the Dollar General. I'll use the large one for this to let you know that you can actually use a sizable jar. I got this placemat at the Hobby Lobby and I'm just gonna cut off the tag. Turns out it's three layers, so I don't know if all placemats are three layers because this is the first placemat I have cut up. But all I'm going to do is utilize this pom-pom trim and I'm gonna wrap the jar very tightly, but I am going to add a seam allowance so that I can hem the edge I cut. So I'm just going to snip a little piece right here and snip where I want the top of the fabric to stop plus about a half inch for a hem allowance. And then I'm just gonna cut this entire thing out. It's easy peasy. See, I see right there, I'm like, ooh, there's three layers to this. So I'm gonna use a little more hot glue than I thought, <laughs> that's all. So I'm going to first hot glue these layers together. So like I said, there's this like third layer in here in the middle. So I'm just gonna whoop whoop and whoop whoop. And then I'm going to do this really big one on the top. I could have probably just hemmed it. I don't know. This is my first hack up of a placemat. Let me know in the comments if you've done this before. <laughs> Are all placemats three layers? I have no idea. All right, I'm just gonna hem that uh, short end and then I'm going to hem the long end as well. Now the body piece is going to stay on the gnome, but I did use Velcro so that anybody could take it off because the little jar from Dollar General was super cute by the way. So for the Velcro, I just put the hook and loop together and then pulled off one side and that gave me the sticky side. I don't know which side it was. Is there a right side that you're supposed to put? I have no idea, I just stuck it on here, get back in frame and then pressed it down really, really well before taking off the other paper backing. And then I lined up, oops, <laughs> I just cleaned that off a little bit. I lined up the bottom so that the pom-pom trim would be like above the base of the jar so that I could, you know, not get it dirty. And then, uh, yeah, just lined it all up, making sure it's lined up and then fix the bottom here. There you go. Now it's all lined up. And then that way, the bottom of the trim won't get yucky and it's all nice and very tight. Okay, so now we're gonna move on. We're just gonna take that leftover placemat and get an idea of where we want to place our beard. For a beard, I used Mongolian fur and I already had this piece that's really wonky cut, but it's like a rectangle, so I used it. If you're new to cutting faux fur, I do have a tutorial. I have a couple of different noses in my stash, so I'm going to use the larger of the two. It's about one inch. And then I added more glue than is probably necessary to the fabric backing and then stuck that right on the front. I'm gonna use my scissors to split the fur to its fabric backing so that I can attach a nose securely. To do that, I just add a generous portion of hot glue and give it a big nose boop. boop. Hold that until it dries. And then here is the bottom of our gnome. Now for the hat. I'm gonna go ahead and hem this huge long edge open on the hat after cutting off that little extra bit I had. For the hat, we're going to make this a wider wrap. So this will be easy to take on and off. So we want the fit much looser than the body. So measure to your piece and then add your inch or so or inch and a half for a seam allowance and then cut that off and hem the edge. I'm going to use my finger to paint this star gold because I didn't bring any paint brushes with me. And uh, while that dries, I'm gonna finish up this hat. So I'm just gonna use the same fabric, uh, what do you call it, Velcro, and do it the same exact way I did on the bottom. Now you could actually secure this part with hot glue because you don't need to undo the hat, but I figured, yeah, I have it. I tied the top with some twine, just bunched it all together. And then I'm going to just add a little bit of glue to the very back of the star and then press my two ends of my twine right on there. I figured the star was a little less Christmassy 
than most of the other options that I had from the Dollar Tree. So this is my fella. He's done. He's super cute. Again, you can do this with any size jar. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think of this quick craft? Thank you so much for being here. Please like and subscribe for more crafts. And hey, here is a Holiday Gnomes playlist for you.